In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit a video on your iPhone using an app called Splice. We're going to go through the process step by step and show you how to do this as quickly and as easily as possible. Let's go over to my phone. On your iPhone, I want you to open up the Splice editor. We'll start off with a new project and we're going to look for the album where all the clips are stored that we want to use for this edit. All right, now as best as you can, select the clips in the order that you want them to appear in the edit. I'm just going to go in sequence like that I filmed them. I'll put the logo at the back, but I did notice that I want to put this one in the front. So we're just going to slide that to the first position and this long clip over there. Um, actually, I don't, I don't want that one there. I'll tell you what, we're going to choose a highlight from that one. So instead of having this 33 second clip, I just want somewhere in the middle here, we're going to make a highlight and we're going to pick out just a little piece of that. I can make a second highlight if I wanted to, but that little piece is good enough. So there we go. See it added at the end and this one as well, I want to move to sort of the second position. All right, that's more or less the way I think I want to see it. We'll see once it goes into the edit. Next, I'm going to rename this project to something like the coffee shop. And animate photos. Uh, there is one image in there, but I want to do it manually. And I filmed it in landscape, so I'm going to keep it in landscape. Let's create this project. All right, there is my timeline with all the clips in it, uh, in more or less the sequence that I hope to see them in. And the video is one minute and six seconds, which is pretty good but let's see if we can clean that up a bit. What you'll notice is if I play the video, uh, yeah, it's a little bit long. We definitely don't need that. So we can shorten this down to just, you know, a moment. And that's, even that's still too long. I'd shorten that. So it's, and let's go to the next one and let's go to the next one. So again, take off the front, take off the back and one and cut done one and move on you know, that's fine again I just want to clip that off a good way to go about this and this is what I always do is I will add in some music to set the the tone now let's go to the music I'm just gonna pick something cinematic sounds good let's choose I don't know epic sale I don't mind let's just add that in before and let's have a listen. It's not, you know, perfect, but it'll do. I just want to turn, I think, let's turn the, the volume down just a little. It's a, just a little invasive. But yeah, it, that, it kind, of, kind of works. So let's carry on doing the trimming process. Way too long again. Just need that moment to identify what we're looking at. Again, I don't want that whole beginning section. I only need where the thing's being brought forward. That's it. They're done. No more than that. Moving on. Out of focus and shaky. Let's get rid of that front section and it's the rack back as well. I don't even want to see it. See how long that is? It's still too long. Perfect. Oh, out of focus again. I'm not even going to look. I'm just going to trim it away. Cool. That's that. You kind of get a feel for this where you don't even want to see all of it. You're just looking for those moments as quick as you can. Trim that all away. There we go, perfect. That's it. Next one. That's cool. Don't need the front. Just this. Great. Take that away. 
put it down, pay. Everything past that point is unnecessary again, even the front, you know, you want to keep these clips short and engaging. Sam, you don't need to see me drinking the whole lot. Just that last section is enough to know that I'm drinking it. Okay, that's a little bit invasive on the music. We'll clean that up in a second. But generally, I'm speaking, I'm happy with the outline of this video. That needs to be adjusted. So we can tap on it and just um, tap over here and bring it in. Uh, we could just leave it like that. But maybe we want to get a little bit more creative. So what I'm going to do is highlight that and look for my animate. And we're going to enable the Ken Burns. The starting point, we're going to make it a whole lot smaller. And at the end point, I wanted to fill the screen like that. So between the two, start point is there. Let's just go. Go. Much better. Love it. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of that uh, back to the main menu and we will see now that the whole video is 2 minutes and 42 that's not good that's because the music runs over the edge go to the end of the video just to there highlight that split that let's take that piece and delete it okay brought the video down to 40 seconds much better it's much neater and cleaner and this is almost ready to go. The only thing that was still in the way was the sound clips. So didn't like that. Just take the volume and kill it. Next. Still soft enough to hear him talk and, and sort of get the ambience, which is fine. I don't need to edit that. Keep going. Happy. That's good. Got it. It's got a rhythm. It, it flows. Okay, there we go. Let's highlight the music again. You can see that's where it blows out of control. So from this point, I'm going to make another split there. And I'm going to highlight the second part. And I want to manipulate that volume right, right down to like something like 20. Let's have a listen. That's it. Done. That is, I'm happy with that. That's a 40 second video ready to go. Um, do I want to add some color? No, the color was fine in there. So pretty happy with that. Let's export that. I'm going to save it at HD, save it to my phone. And that's how you edit a video in sort of under 10 minutes. Now, if we have a look in our photos album, there it is in the recents at the bottom. We've got our 40 second video that we can now upload to any platform we want. If you have any questions about the subject of this video or anything related to how to make a video, then let us know in the comments section below. Remember, you can also get lots more free tutorials like this on our YouTube channel, as well as by visiting our website, travelvids.tv. My name is Dean Palman, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.